Chances are you've been stuck waiting at the train crossing. Maybe you've even seen a train stopped on the tracks for repair and seen the ripple effect it has on traffic. Our cameras captured multiple trains stopped on the tracks in recent weeks. On the afternoon of September 12th, it took 45 minutes to get this Union Pacific train running again due to a mechanical issue. It happened again midday on August 27th. In both instances, frustrated drivers pulled all kinds of maneuvers to get moving again. Evie McDonald has seen trains so often, she's learned their schedules. Like on Sunday mornings at 745, there's almost always a train. Sometimes there's one train right after the other one. She's right. 13 News obtained a copy of a 2019 corridor study from ADOT. It shows 30 to 40 trains pass through the area every day. The report also says the existing overpass at Cortero Road is from the 1960s. For years, there's been rumors that a new bridge will be built over the railroad tracks. But in an emailed statement, an ADOT spokesperson says there currently is no funding in ADOT's five-year construction program for a project at the Cortero Road interchange. It is concerning because obviously with the train stop, traffic can't flow, and that includes emergency vehicles and such. Fausto Burrell is the public works director and acting town engineer for Marana. He says there's no doubt a new interchange is needed at Cortero, similar to Twin Peaks and Ina Road. He confirms Marana has asked the Regional Transportation Authority to add it to future road improvement plans in Pima County, plans that voters ultimately approve. The current RTA plan expires in 2026. Burrell hopes Cortero is included in the next iteration in 2027. We have asked, placed that in the initiative. That's our number one. We've also received $10 million uh, dollars in funding from the state. That's earmarked towards improvements at the Cortero I-10 uh, intersection. And we are actively looking at other funding sources. So currently what some of our team is doing is they're working on what's called an RCE grant, a railroad crossing elimination grant. If RTA is successful and voters give the green light, Burrell says Marana can utilize those funds and start planning and design work. It's typically a two-year process. The cost of a new interchange could run upwards of $100 million. While I think an overpass may be the best solution, I feel like the businesses really need to be taken care of and supported. The town of Marana is holding a public meeting about the Cortero interchange and RCE grant on November 6 from 1 to 2 p.m. at the Highlands at Dove Mountain. I'm Rebecca Taylor, 13 News.